Hey ladies, my name is Jamie with Your Guide to Style and welcome to my channel. So today is episode seven of my What to Wear Q&A video series. And today I just have one question that I'm going to read that someone left on one of my videos. And then I just want to ask you guys a few questions, get your feedback on some things, let you know what I have coming up. Since this is a holiday weekend or holiday week, I have been super busy and I just wanted to put a video out there for those of you that need something to watch or get bored or you just want to you know, watch one of my videos, then this will be the perfect thing because it's going to be short and sweet. And hopefully you will watch to the end and give me some feedback on some things that are coming and just a couple of questions I have for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into the first question. The first question is from Marilyn. And actually this is the only question today. And she said, I live in a very casual community. I went to my child's school concert last night wearing a black mock neck sweater, black pants, boots, and a plaid blazer. I felt good about how I looked, but wondered if I was almost overdressed because so many others are rather dressed down. My question is, how do I find the balance between looking put together and being overdressed? And I did have someone else comment on this and I wanted to read it. It's Anne. And she said, I also live in a casual community and, and I attend a very casual church, but I like to dress up a little for church and want to feel put together even when I go to Costco. I have decided that as long as I feel good about myself and don't go way overboard, I can wear what I want to. And I loved that because a lot of times I feel the same way. And I think a lot of us probably do that love fashion and love being put together because even if you are not overdressed if your outfit is put together you have a tendency to look better th than a lot of other people and i don't think you were overdressed for this event if people had like jeans and a top on i still think your outfit is fine i don't think it was over the top you had boots on you had a fun blazer on i don't think you were overdressed you may have felt that way but this sounds like a great outfit and you were really put together and it was really thought out so you could have maybe thrown a pair of jeans on if you want to feel a little bit more casual, but I say if you do that and you feel the best in that, I wouldn't worry about what anybody else was wearing. Because I do think sometimes when we are put together, we may look a little bit more dressed up than someone else, but I don't think you were overdressed. And I just say be confident in what you have on. That was a great outfit. I think it was a great choice. And I get it because I did grow up in a small town too and a lot of smaller towns, smaller communities are a little bit more casual, but you know, you used to always have those people that look great and look put together. And as long as that's what you feel good in, I think you are totally fine and I don't think you need to worry about being overdressed. And also I will add that anytime you feel overdressed, it's better to feel that way than to be underdressed. So uh, I always say go more for being over than under and I think it works out better that way. So <laughs> I think I get more embarrassed when I'm just really casual and maybe some of those people felt that way because they saw you looking so good. <laughs> But I love that you guys answer these questions too for people that leave them. And thank you, Anne, for doing that. And thank you for leaving this, Marilyn. And I say just have confidence whenever you want to wear. And I think your outfit sounded great. So now let's get into a few things that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Since it's a holiday weekend, I just thought, and you know, we're at the end of the year. So I wanted to get your feedback on some content that I have coming and maybe get your suggestions of what you wanna see. Because this time of year is so weird when it comes to fashion. I mean, after Christmas and the new year, everything goes on sale, spring stuff starts coming. I don't know when y'all get interested in spring stuff, but I start pretty early. So I will be doing videos that you guys suggested. I will be doing a video on how to style skirts and blazers. I have a video coming on body proportions and how to make your outfits proportioned better so they look a little bit better on your body and it's just an option. But I wanted to do a video on that because I have had requests for that. And then I also have a video that I'm working on for the Pantone colors of spring and summer and they're really interesting this year. And then I will do a spring trends video that I always do and those are the four things that I have kind of scheduled in that I wanted to do. And I just want to know if there's 
anything else for winter that you guys want to see? I know some people have requested to do some, uh, oh, I've got to do the, um, the edgy over 40 or over 50 outfit. So that one is coming too. I left that out of the list. I know you guys, I've had a lot of requests for that. So that's coming too. So anything else you want to see for winter? Any suggestions you want? Um, anything coming for spring that you want to know about? Because, you know, spring is around the corner. We're just hitting winter, but you know, all the stores are going to be getting it in pretty soon, probably February, March time. So it is the end of the year. It's a weird season. And I really never know what you guys are wanting during that time. And so I just thought I would just ask. So please let me know in the comments below if you like the suggestions that I just said that I was going to do or, or like the topics I'm going to do. And if you have any suggestions of things that are going on during these months that you really want to know about, whether it's layering your winter outfits, whether it's starting into spring. If you want to get a heads up on what's going to be going on in spring, it should be a very interesting spring and summer season. So any of those things that you guys want, please leave them in the comments below, especially you guys that watch these videos every week and keep up with me. I really want to provide you guys content that you want to see and that you want to learn from and that you're interested in. So there are things that I have on my mind that I want to do, but you may not care about them. So telling me, just give me a list. I don't care how long it is. <laughs> and I would love to know what you guys want. And this is just a short and sweet video and it is getting close to the end of the year. Thank you guys for this awesome year on YouTube. Thank you so much for your support and your likes and your subscribes and your comments. And I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and you can check out any of my other videos. I do have outfits that I did for all the holidays that, you know, are, are coming up, even New Year's. So check that out if you want some suggestions for that. And thanks again for watching. Please leave your, me your comments if you're new. Please hit that subscribe button and a thumbs up if you love this video. And I will talk to you guys next time.